Yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy Uji, and of course, we are back again. Once again, hope y'all doing great today. Have a happy new year and happy holidays, whatever y'all celebrating. So, we're starting this new year right back off, going right into the My Hero Academia chapters. Which, for those that don't know, My Hero Academia, the anime season five, is actually on the horizon, it's coming through very soon. I would imagine sometime around the springtime. I don't know exactly when. Um, but it should be around the corner in some aspect, give or take. At the time of this recording, this is chapter 296 of My Hero Academia. So this is like we're in January right now. So I'm going to guess maybe if we're lucky, earliest, maybe March. Um, I actually don't know off, off the top of my head. But I do know that it's definitely coming in 2021. Season 5 is going to be really good. As far as what we're reading, I want to say that this is most definitely towards the end of season six maybe seven pushing it possibly that's neither here nor there we're gonna get right into this reaction we got 22 pages upcoming so hopefully this is a pretty dope chapter things should be kind of dying down here it's called hellish hell this is some sort of aftermath so without further ado let's get right into it Oh, and also big shout out to everybody that was uh, subscribed to my video game channel we finally reached that 1,000 subscribers so shout out to all you guys that have been subscribed or if you are about to subscribe so definitely keep supporting the boy um as best as you can all right here we go in the aftermath the frontline survivors and those who rushed to the front line after completing their ev evacuation and rescue duties <clears throat> all joined forces to stop shigaraki from escaping the noble which will be referred to as near high ends were commanded to team up and execute distraction and disturbance strategies as they made trouble for their for the heroes three of the near high ends were brought down however seven of them along with shigaraki and his people managed to flee without a trace gigantomachia and mr compress were apprehended gunga mountain villa okay so here we go so this is another scene right here Damn, a lot of a lot of people out for the count. Redestro, Getin, Trumpet, and other members of the Paranormal Liberation Front in attendance at the assembly were also captured. In total, sixteen thousand nine hundred and twenty-nine individuals. That's a lot of people that was involved in this entire war thing right here. However, Gigantomachia's rampage allowed 132 of them to escape, including high-ranking advisors. Their bases scattered around the country were hit, oh, were hit too, and the sympathizers were rounded up. Just got word from one of the Ryukyu agents, agents' trainees. Apparently, Himiko Toga got away and should still be in the area. Damn that girl, we've got enough to worry about. And she, honestly, yo, Toga could be Toga could literally be hiding in plain sight because, as you know, she does have the quirk where she can basically um, fool you into thinking that she is somebody else. Like she takes on that form and everything. It's kind of crazy. Oh man, look at this wreckage. They got like the whole streets messed up, buildings are knocked down, cars are in other buildings. Wow, we need help. Someone, please. We got a bunch of people crying out for help right now. Ah, Itai, it hurts, brother. Get away from here, Mika. These rocks are gonna fall. It's too risky. Save yourself. If you get away, you can have my Endeavor pouch. No. Oh, man, this is sad. So a little a little girl and a little boy, his brother and sister, tr she's trying to help the brother out. I don't want the pouch. I just want to be with you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and there goes Froppy and Uravity. Uh, they came through to save the kitties. Clone? Close one, huh? Ribbit. Why? Where's our mom and dad? Why? They're crying and, you know, the fact that they're alive, which is really great. The boy's leg is hurt. I'll take him to the evac camp. Help, there's someone under here. Endeavor pouch. <laughs> now nah, she wants the pouch. I'm on my way. Someone's watching from a distance. Oh, what was that? Um, My wife's inside. Hurry up, miss. What apartment number? Gotta save them as many as I can. Hey, over here. Damn, so they're busy. They're busy saving all the people from all the disaster. Uh, there are still lives that can be saved. There are more, there are more this way. Uh, we floating. Careful, that's gonna collapse. Relax, you're okay now. Uh, need water. Don't just stand there. I need some help, heroes. 
I can't take it. Who is this? This is too much. I need some help quick. Can't the, the pain. Mommy, watch. Oh, yo. That's, that is actually crazy. Why? How is this real? Somebody, please. Wait, hang on. Call an ambulance. Ah. I need a new line of work. Damn. Who Who is this guy? I've never seen this hero before. He, he definitely seems like he's not trying to be a part of this because... Honestly, looking at it from this kind of angle, I don't think I don't think I've ever really seen um, a, a, a hero like like well let me rephrase that I don't think I've ever seen any situation in a in a story whether it's a comic or this an anime right where the hero is now presented with the reality the responsibility of taking care of what needs to be done, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, that's, that's, you know, Uncle Ben literally taught us that for so many years and years and years, and even though that is, that was a part of Spider-Man, that is echoed throughout everything else, you know, that, that of course came after, and even the things that came before, is, you know, obviously that saying goes a long way, and seeing it displayed like this is actually kind of sick, um, because, you know, he, being a hero is not all fun and games. It's not all high praise. It's it's you know there's a lot of responsibility that's on the line. And if you're not, you know if you're not ready, you're not mentally prepared for, to handle you know situations where there's disaster in front of you and there is like wreckage and destruction. There's literally all these people that you gotta try to save at the same time. Like if you like, I guess I guess being a hero ain't ain't suited for everyone, right? That's kind of crazy. Oh no, who? <gasps> no way! Shigaraki has truly died. Uh, Shigaraki had truly died. His rebirth was cut short the moment the equipment was destroyed. The sight, that sight, that slight zap of electricity, which the nearby Exilus didn't even feel himself, wasn't enough to revive Shigaraki. No, what brought him back to life was his dream and his hatred. Shigaraki's singular obsession cost so many lives you mean giant lady is dead oh my god all of these people that they're showing on this sec on this page 15 right now oh my goodness they're all they're all dead holy shit i did not i was not expecting that meanwhile well dang it's all over huh that Dobby dude totally sucks, but what's all Endy gonna do now? Do you think it's all true? If so, that's awful. Ever since his days as number two, I had a feeling something shady was going on behind the scenes. Isn't it his job to protect us? What's going on? So these are like the these are like the civilians that are talking amongst themselves right now um, about the whole Endeavor situation. Because remember, the truth about his family has now officially out there. It's revealed, which is really nuts. And uh, now people are kind of second-guessing Endeavor as a whole. So, And he's currently the number one. So who knows if he's going to get replaced, if he's going to step down. Because we already know Japanese culture, if there is some shit that goes down that gets found out about you, what normally ends up happening is if they have any, like, honor to them you know which you know japan that's one of the was one of the that's the one of the big parts of their culture is that they have a big honor system a lot of times if something goes wrong they feel like they're responsible or maybe some people found out about them they resign so i would not be surprised if we get to a point sooner than later where endeavor actually forfeits his number one spot to whoever would come next would it be hawks i don't know we'll have to find out so here we go so now we see midoriya his career's finished for sure maybe he'll move a abroad with what money he'd better have a statement ready about all this tomorrow do you think we're gonna be okay sure i mean think about it we've got the five weenies and those guys looking out for us so that was that was of course more dialogue from the civilians that night oh snap well, so we're we're at the I'm pretty sure we we're at the prison where all for one is at. I can feel it. My expectations were a bit off, but it won't be long now. Why do they assume excuse me, why do they assume tomorrow will come for them? No, I won't grant them a moment's rest because it's my turn now, and my turn will never end. Hear me, my tireless nomu, 
It's time to free my real body. Well, I can tell you, we I, I'm pretty sure a lot of us saw this coming. Okay, so with all that being said, the war is officially done, right? This is the aftermath, right? Uh, this is the last, this is the last ch uh, chapter, I would say, a part of this arc. We might have a little bit more to look at as far as what might happen after, what, like the aftermath of the whole entire situation that might take, you know, maybe another chapter or two, maybe, maybe not. But the fact of the matter is 296 was called Hellish Hell. It seems like right now they are all, everyone is currently living in some form of hell right now based on all of the destruction, the wreckage, the rampage. Everything that literally the aftermath of what happened, now everyone is dealing with it in some way, shape, or form. And the the the, the crazy part is Shugidaki is not done. And it seems like all of this was just a bigger plan to just bring in all for one once again. And that all for one is basically like we're we're also we're all, it's almost like we're looking at this like kind of like uh, an Orochimaru situation. Where Orochimaru, he's been trying to just constantly find strong ass ninja to basically just take their bodies over so that he can have like a like a fresh new vessel to kind of live on for however much longer because that's his way of kind of achieving immortality in that sense. And so all for one, man, this guy's been around for a long ass time and it only makes sense for him to want to be to be placed in another fresh body so that way he can continue on with whatever plans he has up his sleeve and it just makes sense i mean this is how this is kind of how you write one of those i guess you could say deeper villains in the, in the sense that there's a there's a they have their plan but they're, they're but they want to achieve it for a, you know an extended period of time if not like forever you know what i'm saying and shigaraki he showed minor signs of being of having like that humanity in him and that there's 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 a slight light in this darkness where we could possibly speculate that Shigaraki isn't all that bad after all and it might just be all for one's overly drawn influence on him that's actually making him act sound think and you know like I said act already act the way that he is so a lot of things to take from this chapter a pretty dope chapter. We, 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 we really we, we saw a lot of different angles and uh, we, we, we learned that unfortunately like there was at least like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine. Damn, like almost twenty heroes that are now gone. Like for real. Like and the biggest one here is Mount Lady. And that's that's crazy. Like I never thought that a character like her would just go like this. But I mean you know, when you have these big angles, these big arcs that take place in a story like this, it's just like you're you're bound to have some kind of tragic, you know, events taking place. It's unavoidable. You cannot always have every hero survive. You know, the even even on the villain side, it all like this 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 kind of thing happens, and it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. But enough out of me. I kind of want to know what y'all thought about this week's chapter um we should be uh, back to a regular schedule actually maybe not i'm at, uh i'm looking at the calendar right now and actually there is there isn't gonna be a new chapter next week the next chapter will hit january 17th so i'm gonna i i actually think that this is regular because uh they do have golden week right i think that that, that that's what it is it's golden week in japan where they basically have like another week off so I mean Japan, they're lucky, right? They they got their their nice breaks or whatever, but they're workaholics, so their culture it is what it is. But there's no there's no chapter two ninety seven won't be hitting next week. It'll hit two weeks from now at the time of this recording, January seventeenth. Make sure you guys are hitting that have the sub button on and the alerts are on. And for whatever reason, if you're not getting these alerts, just to be safe, unsub, resub, and hit the alert again, just to kind of refresh your subscription so that way you can possibly go along with this crazy algorithm that youtube is constantly you know it's constantly crazy and it's very hard to keep up with but as long as you guys know that we will be reacting to these chapters every time they come out um then you we're we're in for you know a good time all right so definitely thank you guys for keep sticking around this is a brand new year 
and lo lots of things to anticipate on the horizon coming for this channel my video game channel my streams all that kind of good stuff so keep on supporting i definitely appreciate it we're going to continue to push this everything that we're doing um as, as 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 far as we can to as high as we can um and i definitely appreciate all of your ongoing and consistent support so again guys make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves make sure you guys are liking sub subscribing sharing commenting all that good stuff supporting links as always to the discord to the twitter to everything else is going to be in the description as always have a good one may the proper tech keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean and stay inside all right it's still tw it's, it's, it, we're still not done with this pandemic all right stay the freak inside i'll see y'all next time